Hi, spelling group number one. Are you ready for your next five spelling words? Today's Monday. I got the wrong date on here. Monday, October. Let me look at my calendar. Okay, um, October 12, 2020, write your name and date on your paper, and I'm going to have you number on your paper 1 all the way to 10. Number your paper 1 to 10, <clears throat> and you can leave a space in between, excuse me, I'm sorry, in between, but you don't have to. I'm going to give you five words today, one through five, and then on Wednesday, I'm going to give you, <coughs> excuse me, the other five words. So you're going to use the same paper on Wednesday that you're using right now. Okay, your first word is going to be forget. Forget. We will not forget what happened to the Twin Towers. Forget. Go ahead and write it and then check your spelling with mine. Or get. When you have a word that's made up of two words put together, do you remember what that's called? It's called a compound word. Two words put together to make another word is called a compound word. And this is a compound word. There's four and there's get. All right? We have a multi-letter final ground here, which was on your test on Friday. You should know it. <clears throat> or as in Lord. God just says his first sound. We don't need to mark it. E. Let me see. E says it's first sound also. We don't need to mark it. Your next word is think. Think. One syllable. And you have one phonogram in there. Think. All right. Is your multi letter phonogram? I'm going to underline it. It has two sounds. Which one are we sounding? Think. It's the first sound. We don't need to put a one, just underline it. Your next word is life. Life. God breathed life into us. Life. Go ahead and write it, and then check your spelling with mine. All right. This vowel has two sounds, I, I, life. It's saying the second sound. What is making it say its second sound? Well, we see a silent letter here. It's not saying any sound. O, I, F. And there's no sound. We double underline silent letters and we look for silent E uses five rules in order to be there. The first rule is it tells the vowel to say its second sound, which it is. This is saying its second sound because of the silent E. We draw a little bridge over to the E. We don't put a one. Your next word is under, under, under. That's not a compound word because un is not a, a word and der isn't either. Under. If there's an earthquake, go under your desk. Seek safety under a table or a desk. Under. Two syllables. Are you a? Uh, uh is the first sound of this vowel. We don't need to mark it. Der. There's a multi-letter phonogram there. See that? 
and it has one sound, er, as in her. And number five, your word is Lord. Lord, Lord, one syllable, Lord. And we have an or as in Lord. Or the rule that we use is the word that we use in the rule. Or as in Lord. All right. Um, after the number 10, I want you to write the multi letter phonograms I'm going to give you. And we're going to do it the same way as the last time. I'm going to show you the multi-letter phonogram. I'm going to sound it out. You look at it. You hear me say it. And then I want you to write it and say it while you're writing it. All right? So the first one is E-A-A. -A. E -A -A. Write it and say it while you're writing it. E-A-A. -A. Okay. Oi that we may not use at the end of an English word. Oi that we may not use at the end of an English word. I want you to write it and say it at the same time. Oi that we may use at the end of an English word. Oi that you may use at the end of an English word. If you learn this as oi as in boy, you're going to, in this class, we're going to learn it as oi that we may use at the end of an English word. All right? <clears throat> the next word is ow, oh, two sounds. Ow, oh. So you write it ow, oh. Ow, oh. Four sounds. Ow, o, u, a. Ow, o, u, a. Ow, o, u, a. All right. So, over the next couple of days, practice writing each word six times. You should be able to read the word, not just spell it. Read the word, say it while you're writing it, and also write your phonograms and say the sound of the phonogram while you're writing it. If you don't remember how what the sound is, call me or text me. Better call me that way I can sound it out for you. Okay? So on Wednesday I'll give you five more words and five more phonograms. All right? See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.